the, the number one thing that truly impressed me was the fight that we had right up to that last minute in our fourth game in seven days. Um, fitness wise, I think the girls that we had this weekend played extremely well. We were definitely short um, a couple of players, sorry, a couple of players um, had a family tragedy over the, the week that two players had to go home, um, a little bit of sickness within the team, but even the ones that were sick were still begging to go on the field um, to just keep fighting. And I think that was the biggest mark that came out of this weekend is, and I said to the team, it really doesn't matter what people are saying outside right now about this team, it's what we know, what we're trying to prepare ourselves for which is, you know, conference play starting first weekend in October. And I think the characteristics that they displayed this weekend in, you know, going to double overtime, losing in a shootout, um, is that we, we know that the goals are coming. We're just getting a little impatient and probably trying to force where we don't need to. Yeah, you know, obviously special plays, uh, entries into the circles on free hits, uh, penalty corners. I thought our defensive unit did very well. Uh, again, we need to just clean up a little bit on our rebounding of our goalies' pads. But, you know, I was thinking about it on the way home yesterday that, you know, if I was sitting having this conversation this time last year and sort of looked at last year's team and said, if we played UNC this time last year, what would the score be? I would say we were probably still looking at anywhere between five to eight at this time last year. So, you know, staying focused, I think that's the biggest point for us right now, is staying focused on our end goal and, and not getting caught up in, in the world of the stats and what other teams are doing. So it's more about us becoming sharper with our passes, getting our freshmen up to par. I thought, you know, in the game on Sunday that the freshmen had some really ideas we didn't quite execute, you know, whether it was soft, the passes were a little too soft or they just second guessed and, and took a bit of speed off their passes. But, you know, if we can get our freshmen up to par, it's just still working on the depth of our bench, which is super important going into conference.